much after Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. and I've still got the best one left over to take home to my family. Somebody might steal it. Here, take it. Oh. And watch out for the bones. Thank you. Believe me, the bones can be very dangerous. I can't stand it. What's the matter? I, I've got a bone stuck in my throat. It's been there for days. You can't believe the pain. Like this, I'll see what I can do. If you just turn around, I'll give you a couple of good whacks on the back. How's that? Okay, but try not to hurt me, all right? Try to cough real hard, all right? Yeah, 
There it is. I can see it. <gasps> Open wider. <gasps> Open real wide, okay? I got it. I don't think he'll 
won't be bothering anyone for a while. Good morning, Tom Badger. How'd you do that? <laughs> That's my secret. Oh, it's a trick. <laughs> I got eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> What's this you're working on? Okay. It's a periscope for seeing things that you can't get high enough to see. You just Stand it like this, and you can see over walls or around corners. Take a look! Wow! That's neat! I can see the strawberry fields! That should show you just how useful a periscope is! What's this mirror for? That's so you can see what's behind you without turning around. Here! Let's go see that boxing match! Better hurry, it's getting late. <laughs> hey, it's locked. Hey, mister, could you let us in? Please. Sorry. together.
Ranch, didn't I? You're an absolute genius! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a genius. Any of you could have made one of these, it's easy. All you need to do is place lenses at either end of the periscope, make sure the mirrors inside are angled in just the right way, and here you go. You get to see what's outside your field of vision. Yeah, and even better than with the naked eye. And you want to know why? This lens enlarges everything. It's law of physics. Let me see. Not now. Stop being such a pig. Sure All you do is think of yourself. Story. We don't want to meet the wolf on the road. You can look at it later. done the same thing. What you always need to keep in mind is the importance of knowledge. I think You're so right about that. Lesson. So isn't it about time you got back to your school books? The Raccoon 
How are raccoons classified in the animal kingdom? The raccoon is a carnivore belonging to the Procyonis family. It's a medium-sized animal, recognizable by the small dark mask around its eyes and by its ringed tail. How many species are known and where do they live? There are 18 species in the Procyonis family, one of which is the panda. Raccoons are found in Canada, the United States, and Central America. They live exclusively in forests which have a lot of lakes, rivers, and streams, and they prefer areas which are not frequented by people. How do they live? Raccoons are mostly active at night, but if undisturbed, they'll also appear during the day. Those that live in northern areas sleep for long periods in the coldest months. How do they move? Raccoons are at home in trees, jumping from one branch to another with the agility of monkeys. They can also run very quickly over flat ground. What do they eat? The raccoon's staple diet is frogs, crayfish, shellfish, eggs, corn and fruit. They wash all their food very carefully before they eat it. How do they defend themselves? Raccoons are peaceful animals with few natural predators. However, if attacked, they defend themselves with their claws and teeth. How do they relate to people? Raccoons have always been hunted for their fur, but they can also be tamed and make excellent pets. Do they live in the city? Raccoons are present in many urban areas and can sometimes be found in cellars and attics. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is it's better never to mistake kindness for craftiness. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>